In New Zealand, the End of Life Choice Act of 2019 is having its referendum on Election Day, which is not that far away. The Act gives people with a terminal illness the option of assisted dying. On the New Zealand Government website is all the information you need so that you can make an informed decision before you vote. It's crucial that you go onto this website because there is a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of scaremongering, there's a lot of hysteria. So go to that website, get the facts, arm yourself with those and go vote. It's really important that you do. This is a big choice this country is about to make. The facts are, simply put, as they stand, you have to be 18 or over, you have to be of sound mind to make this decision yourself, you have to have a terminal illness that's likely to end your life within six months with unbearable suffering which cannot be eased. I've been reflecting on what a year we're having. <laughs> what an extraordinary year and and never has democracy been more important. You know, democracy, the choice, the human right to vote, the right to, to think deeply about what we want as individuals, as a community, as a society. So it's all about choice, and we are so lucky to have those choices. And I've been reflecting that surely in a, in a fair, civilised, democratic world where it's a, it's a human right to have a choice about pretty much every aspect of how we live, surely that should extend to how we die. I, um, I want to read you a message from a dear friend of mine who's really sick in the UK right now. She says this, she says, I think New Zealand is well ahead of our times and the end of life bill is very important. As you already know, I'm now very ill with advanced chronic kidney disease with comorbidities of severe heart failure and a fatty non-alcoholic liver. The doctors here have offered me dialysis knowing that my quality of life will go down and to prolong life, I will have to practically move into the hospital and severely curb my life. Five weeks ago, I decided not to take dialysis, knowing that I cannot be assisted in my death. And now I am entering into an end-of-life process that will, can take a long time, four months or so, where they know I will die an agonising death of either extreme breathlessness or, at best, a full cardiac arrest. I don't feel fear at the moment. I feel prepared, but I would much rather enter a clinic on my chosen day, lie down, take the medication, have my darling husband wrapped around me with my dogs at my feet and be allowed to die with dignity. But my country won't allow that. Pain and agony is what life at the end will be for me. I realise that here they think that by putting all the money into palliative care, we prolong life. And for some, for many, absolutely, especially if it's their choice. But... My choice is deemed not worthy, and it certainly isn't listened to. So, I'm voting in support of the end of life bill because I believe in that choice. I trust that we will put all the checks and balances in place to make it safe so that those who want to die, like my friend, their way in a place that they love, surrounded by the people they love, able to leave this world in a conscious state of love and connection and peace, can do that. To me, this bill is about, it's about choice, it's about love, and it's about compassion. And that's why I'm supporting it.